Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to feature some brass one more time here with yours truly, Crazy Fan 740. Here is a beautiful example of a 1912 Westinghouse All Brass 8 inch desk fan. Of course, it's made by Westinghouse Electric over there in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I picked this up, okay, I picked this up this past August, and the story behind it, oh, there's quite a story. Let me, t let me get right into it. And before I do, I want to preface how much friendship can pay off. I have a good friend that uh, deals in World War II memorabilia. That's what he collects avidly. And he loves to go to flea markets and antique stores just as much as, you know, any other fan collector loves to do. And the day that he was moving back to his dorm room over at Susquehanna University, look it up, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, uh, where that is, uh, there's an, he stopped into one of the antique stores that are nearby, I believe it was on Main Street out there, and, uh, so that afternoon, I'm back here just minding my own business. I get this picture message from him, and it's of this fan. And out of the clear blue, he asks me, is this worth getting? And sure enough, <laughs> I have to tell you, folks, I took one look at that picture. I gave him a call, and I literally said, you would be a damn fool to have that sitting back there without you getting it. I refuse to have you leave that store without you buying it. Because he revealed that the price was only $80. And mind you, this is how it looked like when I first acquired it from him. So what happened was, when he finally came back uh, this past semester, I bought it off of him. I gave him a nice uh, thing of beer for it, of course, in exchange, and then I paid off the rest. And let me tell you something, folks. I think that he is a keen eye, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> but uh, everything on it, like I said, is original. And the only thing that I had to do was put on a new cord. This is a new old stock uh, sundial wire cloth covered cord with matching Bakelite plug back there. Very uh, period to this fan. Uh, everything on it works. It's two speed. Let's take a look at the side. Uh, great fan. I use it all the time. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, one thing is that that's wonderful on this fan is both brush caps are completely intact. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this fan. Um, I could adjust it right now at the wing nut and make it a little bit, you know, more level, but I don't want to, uh, because I'm doing this with one hand. But anyway, so like I said, two speeds right here. And, uh, let's take a quick look at the tag. I'll get all the, uh, that's actually, hold on a minute, that's upside down. Uh, I will, I'll, I'll get the model number and all that for you. Once it's uploaded, I'll put it down in the description. But anyway, that's how it looks like for now. All right. If you haven't done so already, let's see how it looks like running. Here is the first speed. Has that nice little brush motor noise that goes along with it. Look at how beautiful that is. all the way over.
absolutely gorgeous fan, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, one gripe about this fan, and I'm sure that many of you out there that own these can attest to this as well. Uh, <laughs> these are very, very, they're extremely delicate. You gotta make sure that you handle these with great care, or else something will happen. And it w I can guarantee you one thing, it won't be something good. That I can, that much I can tell you. But in the meantime, here is my beautiful, beloved 1912, or thereabouts, Westinghouse All Brass with the original blued finish. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed what you were watching just now, please feel free to leave a comment, rate, and or subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And don't forget to make America great again.